Guys, you're absolutely killing your business. Let me explain. Guys, welcome to the Mr. Bubbles channel where we dish out awesome pressure washing business advice to beginners and in today's episode man i got a really 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 great one for you guys today as you well know i talk a lot about skill sets here on the mr bubbles channel well today we're going to do a breakdown of finance management for your pressure washing business i'm going to give you some really 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 sound strategies for you to be able to run a really, really profitable pressure washing business from a finance management point of view. So it's kind of like I'm giving you a blueprint that you guys can actually copy and, uh, and, and, and make a lot more money with your business. And that's the whole goal, right? The goal here is to make you guys that are watching me from the very beginning since I created the Mr. Bubbles channel, for you guys to apply these concepts to your business to make your business better. Now, before we get into today's episode, I wanted to remind you guys, we are eight, nine episodes away from our next series. Now that's gonna be episode 140 to 150. Make sure you stay glued into the Mr. Bubbles channel. That's all coming out. Like I'm, I'm hoping to have everything post Mother's Day ready to go for you guys. We're gonna be uh, doing a lot of downstreaming. I'm gonna be uh, talking a lot about plant protection, home protection. You guys are going to get a chance to see exactly how we make our house wash mix. And then the most important thing is I am going to walk you at every single job that we do, guys. I am going to walk you through the Mr. Bubbles house washing system. And the purpose of this is for you guys to adopt that system as your own. Go out there, be successful, be profitable. That's what this is all about. So let's jump into this. Now, have you guys ever heard or 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 has someone have has ever asked you this before? Know your numbers. Do you know your numbers? And you know, I remember when I first heard that, I was like, what exactly does that mean? Like it's it's like it almost feels like it's one of those things that you hear like uh like mindset. You know what I mean? We hear that word mindset and we're like what, what does that mean? What exactly does that mean? Well, I'm going to break down for you exactly what it means to know your numbers. Because in this financial management section for your pressure washing business, we're going to be talking about four specific things. I'll rattle them off here, but then I, we're going to break them down. We're going to talk about cost, labor, growth, and then finally, we're going to talk about profit. So let's go ahead and break down the first one for you guys now. There's essentially two types of costs, okay? So associated with knowing your numbers. You have to know exactly how much a job costs you. So what? So that's ex exactly what that means. So for example, when somebody asks you, or if I were to ask you, hey, you know, how much does it cost you to do a job? That's what knowing your numbers means, right? Like you should know exactly how much, not like on a roundabout figure. Is it a hundred bucks? Is it ten bucks? Is it a hundred and ten bucks? Like you have to know exactly. And this is what I recommend you guys do. You're going to open up. Of course, all of us, we have a computer at home where we have access to a computer somewhere. And what you're going to do is on a spreadsheet, you're going to create two columns. In those two columns on the very top, you're going to put these two words, fixed and variable. Now, those are essentially the two type of costs that you have associated with any business. So um, let's start with variable costs. I'm going to put the definition down here for you guys, like the official definition. But a variable cost, essentially what it is, is a, a type of cost that changes from day to day, right? Hence the word variable because it varies. Like a great example of this might be uh your gas for example like let's say one day you don't go to work well you didn't spend any gas that day right so that for that day the cost went down to zero another type of variable cost would be marketing that's a great example like let's say you know what this month i'm not going to do yard signs well you just saved yourself three four hundred dollars off your budget so you see how a variable cost will go up and down depending on your budget 
So there's a lot of variable costs in associated with pressure washing, right? Including your chemical. Like I'll give you an example. Let's say you have four houses to do tomorrow. Well, your chemical price is not going to be the same as it would be if you didn't have any houses to do that day because you didn't spend any chemical. You see what I'm saying? So if you're spending a lot more chemical on the houses that you're going to do tomorrow, well, I mean, so your chemical cost for that day might be, I don't know, 100 bucks. I'm just throwing a number out there because you're doing four jobs, but your chemical cost today, you didn't do any jobs, is zero. So I want you guys to understand the difference between the two. Now, your fixed cost is essentially that. These are our, our costs, usually monthly costs, that they are a fixed, a set amount. A great example of this might be if you guys have a truck or car payment. Um, another one might be insurance for your vehicle. Like, uh, you know, here at Mr. Bubbles, we have four different phones associated with the company. These are all fixed costs that do not go up. They do not change from month to month. Another one for us is business insurance. Every year we just pay that out. Like we have a lot of fixed costs and we have a lot of costs that go up and down depending on what it is that we're doing. So here's the point. So in order for you guys to know your numbers, this is what you're going to do. This is the homework because now you guys know what a fixed cost is. You know what a variable cost is. Boom, you smash those two things together, you add them up, and there you have your cost, okay? So now, um, so so back to the spreadsheet idea, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to go down the, the list, and you're going to add, you're just going to populate the boxes there of all your all your your fixed costs for the month. So for example, this might be, for example, your rent. So you put in there, how much you pay for rent? Let's say $1,600. Uh, then you're just going to go through it. Uh, electricity, bam, bam, bam. All your costs that no matter what. Let's say you didn't work for a whole month because you, you broke your foot, okay? What are the expenses that even with a broken foot, you still have to pay? That's your fixed cost or your overhead. So you're going to go through it, bam, 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 line by line by line. Now, this thing might have... 30, 50, 60 things on it. So you're going to go through and populate. How much do you pay for this credit card? How much do you pay uh, uh, for your um, uh, your loan for your vehicle? Bam, 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 bam. So let's say at the very bottom, you come up with a number. Now you're going to go through and you're going to add up how much it's costing you for your chemicals, for your, your maintenance on your vehicle, your parts, all the things that vary, that vary from time to time. Now, I'm a great resource for you guys on this one because a lot of these things you guys might not actually know yet because you're not out there consistently doing work. So I can pretty much tell you this. Your variable cost for doing business in terms of from the back end. What, what I mean by back end? I mean maintenance on your vehicle, maintenance on your equipment, your lines breaking, your fittings, your hoses, your chemicals, your, how much gas you're going to spend on a daily basis. You can pretty much bank on spending, for you guys that are new, I would say right around 50 to 60 bucks a day if you want to run a pressure washing business. Now, I'm giving you a minimal number. That is not our number, but this is going to be a very bo bare bones minimal. So what does that number mean? That means if you're doing a house for 250 bucks, your bare bones variable cost minimal number, 50 bucks. So now you only have $200 left over. Remember, that number is going for your marketing, the gasoline for your vehicle, the gasoline for your for your machine, for your surfactant, for your uh, when your downstream injector goes bad and you have to buy another one. That's that's what that variable cost number is. Of course, I know mine because we've been tracking it for years and years and years and years and years. You don't have all of that analytical data yet. So I can guarantee you that number for you is going to be at least 50 bucks. Now, you know your fixed costs because you know how much you pay for rent and for your car rent, uh, for your car payment and all, and all of the expenses in your life. So you add up those two and let's say you come up with the number. Now, let me come up with a number, like let's say hypothetical here. Now, this is a hypothetical. This might not be your situation, right? So let's say you add up uh, your variable cost and your fixed cost, and you come up with 2000 for your fixed and 1000 for your variable. And remember, this is a monthly thing. So now you know that it costs you 
$3,000. You need to make $3,000 in order for you to just cover your nut, for you to break even, right? What they call a break even point. So your break even point is $3,000. But here's the thing you don't actually work 30 days, right? There's 30 days in a month. You're not going to divide that number up by 30. You're going to divide it by the number of days that you actually work. So let's say, you know, you're a full-timer and you're out there and you're working five days. So let's say 20 days, okay? So let's say you're working 20 days out of the month. 10 days you're not working and 20 days you're out there washing houses. Well, if you take 3,000 divided by 20, now I'm doing math here in my head, guys. That's not one of my strongest suits. But, but let's say it's 150 bucks a day. Okay, and I think that's right. So, so now you know that your your fixed cost plus your variable cost costs you a hundred and fifty dollars per day. Okay, so now think about that. Let's say you have three jobs to do that day. So each one of those jobs is costing you fifty bucks. Bare and I'm guys. These are like bare bones minimum. This number might be a lot higher for some of you guys. Maybe. Your, your fixed cost is $3,000, $4,000 a month, and your variable cost might be a little bit more. This is going to be different for everybody, but I am just teaching you guys how you can know your numbers, how you can know exactly how much each house costs you, okay? Like, for example, here, Mr. Bubbles, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of inside baseball. It costs us as a business right now $200 to do a house, that includes everything, our labor, our taxes, our, our marketing, like our bare bones minimum. We need to get at least $399, $400 bucks and above if we want to run a profitable business because it costs us $200. So for me to go do a house wash for $150, bucks, that's not an option. $200, bucks, that's not an option because, again, those those are, are my bare bones minimum cost. That's how much it would cost me. If I were to do a house at 150 bucks, I'd be taking $50 out of my pocket. I'd be going negative. I'd be going backwards 50 bucks to be able to do that. But that's not your business, right? Because you don't have, like I have a shop, I have employees, I have backstage people, admin people, marketing people. My marketing budget, for example, right now is $14,000 a month just on marketing alone none of you guys are going to have that sort of uh budget uh you know because you guys 95 percent of you guys are just starting out in a pressure washing business right so here's my bottom line guys you have to know your numbers and i am showing you exactly how you figure that out so you you have a column with all your fixed costs all your variable costs you divide that by the number of days that you work and there's your cost that you know that, that you need to make that amount every day, no matter what. So it, like, for example, if you know that your cost of doing business is 150 bucks, well, then, then you, you can go, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this, you know, price out these jobs. Let's say these three jobs. Well, okay. I know 150 bucks is going to go 50 for each job is just going to go to my cost. So it helps you a little bit to know for your, your pricing. And this pricing is something, oh my God. I, I mean, it's one, besides marketing, it's the thing we talk the most about here on the Mr. Bubbles channel. And this is going to help you guys out a lot because you're going to know exactly, to a T, exactly how much it costs you, you on your end, to do a job. That's why it doesn't make any sense to me at all. Guys, at all. Like, I hear some, some stories I hear out there, like, um, there's a company in Florida. I'm not going to name drop them because uh, I don't want to hate on anybody. But there's a company in Florida right now that they're charging $79 to wash a house. $79. Yeah, you heard me right. $79. I mean, oh, wow. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. And, and this is not a new guy. This is a company that's been around for four or five years. And it's mind-blowing to me. I know that things are a little bit cheaper in Florida, but look around the country. Inflation is happening everywhere you go. Like, things are going out of, like, they are next level expensive, right? The cost of, I, I recently I was talking to somebody about this. I built a rig that cost me $25,000. Guys, four or five years ago, that rig would have cost me thirteen dollars or 14000 
now things are so expensive. There's just absolutely no way that you should be charging any number below 250 bucks to do a job. You know, I, I mentioned this in a previous video. We did a, right in the video before this one, we did a one side wash. That was 199, which is our bare bones minimum price to do a job. Whenever we go out there, $199 is just our bare bones minimum price. It doesn't matter if we're doing a basement stairwell, a sidewalk, a, a, a little patio, we're gonna charge at least $199. So make sure guys, and I don't mean to rant about this too much, but make sure that you're you're understanding how all of this works because uh, it, you, if not, you're just gonna go out of business because you're just not gonna have enough money to be able to grow your business. So that's what I mean by knowing your numbers, knowing where is your money going, right? Because you guys are out there and you're thinking, oh my God, wow, I do four houses, 250 bucks, I'm gonna make a thousand bucks. That's not how any of this works. That's why I'm showing you a breakdown of where all of the money goes with your variable costs, your fixed costs. And now you guys know exactly, exactly how to know your numbers right you guys got that so i get so a bit of homework again guys make this spreadsheet and then i want you to email me email me all of you guys know my email it's in the in the, in the description below email me what your number is email me i want to know what is how much does it cost you on a daily basis to run your to run your company and then also let's make this interactive make sure you put it in a comment section below because we want to see your numbers okay number two on our list guys we're going to talk about labor and this is one of those things that you guys are really messing up on and this is what i mean by that so we're not even going to talk about employees because again 95 96 percent of you guys do not have employees now if you want me to do a a separate video where i talk about employees and how we pay our employees and and even how we train some of our employees, I can do a video on that, but that is not the purpose of this. We're gonna talk about our labor, okay? Because again, 95% 95, 95 of you and up are, are sort of solo operators, right? Solopreneurs, is that a thing? That sounds like it would be a thing. Solopreneurs, right? You're out there operating your business by yourself. So this is the deal. You guys need to make sure that you pay that you're charging enough money remember remember a couple of videos ago i can't remember the episode but you guys are going to remember where i talked about why your pressure washing business is not making any money and and one of the reasons i spoke about is the pricing is too low and in that episode what i mentioned was that um, when your pricing is too low it creates a ripple effect and part partly what i meant by that was that uh, one of the ripple effects that it creates is that you can't separate yourself from your profit, meaning there's not enough money for you to make money and for your business to make money. You need to make sure that you pay yourself. Now, you need to be realistic and honest with yourself here. Like I pay myself 150 bucks a day. I, am I worth more than that? Probably. De well, no, definitely. I could pay myself three or 400 bucks a day. I'd still feel comfortable with that. But I pay myself a W-2 and my accountant, it, it all is done automatically out of the account. I, every week out of the Mr. Bubbles business account, my accountant deposits 750 bucks into my personal account. It's a W-2. I pay taxes on it. All of that stuff, right? But here's the point I'm trying to make on this. When, when, I, when we price out jobs, we take into account the labor. Remember, the first thing you're going to take into account is the cost. The next thing that you're going to take into account is your labor. How much are you going to charge for a job? Like, um, I will give you a little bit of inside baseball here in the Mr. Bubbles channel. Like, we give our guys $75 per job. Okay, so that's a good barometer. So, for example, if you got four jobs that you're going to do in a certain day, you should be making at least 300 bucks, right? $75 per job. So you need to make sure that you pay yourself because you as a person you have bills that are outside of the company right you're going to go to, out to dinner with your girl you're going to go to the movies you're going to buy yourself stuff you're going to go on vacation you have expenses that don't have anything to do with the company so you need to make sure that you as a person almost like kind of look at yourself 
and, and, and think of yourself as an employee in that sense that like you are your own employee and you're paying yourself as an employee. That's very important because you don't you don't want to take the profit out of the business because there's there's not going to be any money left over for the business to be able to grow. So like, for example, I was saying, you know, every time we go out to do jobs, a, a portion of that money is going to cover my payroll okay so this is very important for you guys to do that now you can 1099 yourself again i can do a separate video on that if you guys want me to talk about that in my case i w2 myself that's what i recommend you guys do as well w2 yourself pay yourself you know 150 200 or or 75 dollars per job so then your labor is going to go up and down depending on that and then you know i uh, just think about your lifestyle right now how much do you make do you make a thousand bucks a week, seven hundred fifty bucks a week? So pay yourself more or less the same thing, you know. And then also, you know, I pay. I don't know why people think that uh, business owners don't have benefits. Like guys, like Mr. Bubbles pays for my dental plan, pays for four hundred one k for me, investments, pays for um, uh, my health insurance. I think it's like four hundred eighty five bucks. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think we pay like four hundred fifty five bucks a month. For health insurance for myself all of the w2 employees we all have insurance through the mr through mr bubbles the company so like make sure that you're paying yourself and you're treating yourself like almost like you're an employee from that sense because then that way you're not dipping into your company fund to be able to live you know some sort of lifestyle that's very important so let's move on to number three but before we do guys i wanted to talk to you real quick about my my uh my new venture for you guys mr bubbles business in a box guys quick announcement i've created a digital product called mr bubbles business in a box check this out okay so the mr bubbles business in a box is actually a a thumb drive that we're going to send to you guys to your physical address and when you get this thumb drive you're going to see a folder that's called box in it and and then when you open it you're going to see all of these files right here guys all of these folders and guys this thing has over 500 files anything and everything i've ever created from my business so all of the blueprints uh training modules documents all of the things that you guys constantly email me about you know your pricing pdf your um your for example you know your your marketing blueprints anything that you could you could need for your business is in here that's why we call it a business in a box one of the things that i really like about this is guys check out all of these pictures so you have a total of 300 before and after pictures that you guys can add to your website and your Facebook and your Google My Business and check this out. So there's a folder called Google SEO and, and the pictures already have the SEO words in them. And this one photo right here has over 300. This specific folder has 190 pictures, but all in all, it's over 300 pictures. Look at some of these pictures, guys. Amazing before and afters pictures for you guys to be able to add to all of your social medias and whatnot this is going to help you get a lot of customers and of course your edible postcards are on here and then finally you got training videos on here as well guys like for example uh, the video on how to optimize your google my business um, the mr bubbles you got several videos so they're like training modules you got all the pdfs the bottom line guys is this this is going to help you with your business so don't miss out make sure that you email us so you can get your business in a box today if you want to get the mr bubbles business in a box just go ahead and email me and i will send you instructions on that and you know something i say a lot on this channel guys you know the more you know the more you grow that's why i decided to create this mr bubbles business in a box because it's got everything you need in there to be able to grow your business and i really really do believe that this is going to be a game changer for you so make sure you reach out to me because you do not you do not want to miss out on this one
All right, there you have it. Make sure you email me for that, guys. I got some great resources. These are all the things that you guys are constantly emailing me about. Your pricing PDF, something we talked about on here. Your marketing blueprints. All your blueprints, guys. You got uh, your skill sets blueprints. Uh, that's actually, uh, I don't even think I've announced this yet. Because it's like after the 200th episode, I'm doing, a, I'm doing an awesome, awesome series where it's going to be 10, it's going to be 12 episodes where I'm going to do a breakdown of each one of the skill sets like marketing, finance management, money management, time management, uh, customer service. <coughs> like the, the series is going to be 12 different skill, set, skill sets. But anyway, my point is that those skill sets in that entire series is actually also on that uh, Mr. Bubbles business in a box. So make sure, make sure you guys don't lollygag on that and you pick up your, pick up your, uh, pick up your business in a box before, uh, before it runs out. But anyway, uh, number, on to number three is something that I've never really heard anyone talk about in this, in this sense, like I, like I am doing here with you guys. And this is something that comes from personal experience and it's this. You have to take growth into account when you are bidding jobs, when you are running your company. And this is what I mean by this. When you, when, remember, when you're pricing out, whether it's a commercial job, residential jobs, you know, you got to take into account cost. We talked about this variable and fixed cost. So, you know, your numbers. So let's say, you know, you know, you, you know that your numbers around 60 bucks. Let's go with that number. So you know that $60 of, of, of that, of whatever it is that you're doing, is just going to cost for, for chemicals and hoses and blah, 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 right? Now, it's going to vary also from job to job because if you're doing a big roof job, well, that's a lot of SH, so you got to, you got to, you know, you, you got to play it out, right? You got to know, you, that's what knowing your numbers are, means. The variable costs for some jobs are going to go up. So, but my point here is this. Let's say on average it's 60 bucks to do a job. And I'm just talking like a simple house wash, right? So then you got to pay yourself 75. Well, let's bump up the cost to 75 and you got to pay yourself 75. That's what we talked about that number labor. This is what you're going to pay yourself for a job. So guess what, guys? Now I'm already at 150 bucks and I haven't really, my company, Mr. Bubbles, hasn't made any money yet. And it's already at, at 150 bucks. It paid me, it paid its costs. Now, there's two things I got to consider left, and that's growth and profits. Now, you have to take growth into account when you are doing this because you need to grow your company. Guys, I always say this. If you're taking money out of your company, okay, hence your profit, to buy a new machine or to buy something that broke, and then you have no money left over, then you don't have any profit. Like, if you're using your profit to buy things... That's that's not what the purpose of profit is. Profit is 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 money that you have in a bank account when everything's said and done. That's what profit is, right? So I don't want you guys to be in a situation where you're exchanging your 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 paycheck to paycheck job that you have somewhere for another paycheck to paycheck type job, but you're out there just washing houses. Like, I don't want you guys to be out there pressure washing and living paycheck to paycheck. That's not the purpose of this. You need to make sure that there's tons of money left over so you can wrap your vehicle, so you can upgrade your equipment, so you can have the creme de la creme stuff. You can have nice uniforms and, and all of that stuff. Because remember, guys, like, Where's the growth going to come from? Like, it's not going to come from thin air. Like, you need money to be able to grow your business, right? So, we here, Mr. Bubbles, we don't take our profit to pay for our wraps and to pay for, for our equipment, right? Like, that money comes from growth. So, this is what you're going to do when you're doing this equation, right? So, we go back to the example, $75 for cost. $75 is going to go for my labor for doing the job. And then let's just say another $75 is going to go for growth. That money is going to be set aside for, for future uh, investments into the company, right? For getting a wrap. First, I'm going to start with my tailgate. Then I'm going to do the rest of my vehicle. Upgrading my yard signs. Upgrading my marketing. Maybe doing a, a Facebook ad. So upgrading... Uh, not just the image of my company, but eventually upgrading the hardware as well. Like I've talked to you guys, you know, upgrading from the 12-volt system to the 
to your roof pumps, for example, that's going to cost more money. Like a, a typical system is going to cost anywhere between four to $6,000. So the bottom line is, if you're taking that money out of your profit, you're not going to make a profit. You guys get that? So you want to make sure that you're taking all of these things into account. Your cost, your labor, your growth. And then finally, number four, here we are talking about profit, guys. Now, this is real easy here, what I'm going to give you guys. This is what you're going to do, okay? This is real simple. In order for you to uh, <coughs> probably, properly, properly do this, I'm going to give you guys a, a quick math here. What you're going to do is you're going to add up your cost. When you're, when you're deciding on the price of a job, you're going to add up your cost, your labor, your growth, and then you're going to divide that number by 0.70. And that's going to give you how much you're going to charge the customer because you're adding a 30% profit margin to, to, to that number. Okay, so go ahead and do it on a calculator there. You guys are at home. I'm going to give you some numbers, right? So let's say you're out there. And, and, and again, we were using the example of residential. But a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys ask me for quotes to help you guys quote jobs that are commercial and i'm giving you right now the formula for that the blueprint for that okay so let's say i'm out there guys okay i'm going to show you how to put this blueprint this fi finance management 101 blueprint to work so let's say you call me and you say hey mr bubbles man wow the 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 mall near me they want to they want me to do the entire mall they want me to do the walls of the buildings in stucco and they want me to uh, do all of the concrete work so you, you know we're going to do a lot of pressure washing a lot of surface cleaning okay great great that's great but here's the deal guys like how are you going to quote that per square footage that's going to be very difficult to do right so what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to look at this formula that I just gave you. You're going to look at your cost. You're going to look at your labor. You're going to look at your growth. And then finally, you're going to look at your profit. All right. So let's do this together. So again, all of us, it does not matter where you where you are. All, anyone that's listening to this, watching this, you have a mall in your area. So put that mall. So picture that mall right now, whatever it's called. Right in my area, it's called. Uh, oh my God, they just closed it down too. Maybe a lot of malls in your area are closing. But anyway, so here we have um, the the Waldorf whatever mall. I forget what the mall in Waldorf. Maybe somebody here is from Waldorf can can remind me in the comment section. But anyway, so like let's say this 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 job this job that you're going to do this commercial job is going to take two days. Okay, that's an example. So in two days, what is my cost? We had just decided, right, that my cost for, 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 uh, for variable and my fixed cost is 150 bucks a day, right? So boom, right there, my cost is $300, right? You guys got that? That's just my bare bones cost. That's what it's costing me to do a job. It's going to cost me $300. Now, there might be a, an elevated cost there because I might go through more SH, you know, like if they want uh, rust removal, that's going to raise it a little bit. So let's say we do the math and, you know, we got to put some concrete brightener and blah, blah, blah. And it increases our cost by 100 bucks a day. OK, so right now we're 150, 150, 300, 100 and 100. So at five hundred dollars for cost. Why did our variable cost go up? Because we're going to be there all day. We're going to be spraying a lot more chemical. And as you guys well know, soft washing stucco is more expensive because you go through more SH. So the bottom line is, so now we figured out, oh, okay, so it's going to cost me $500 out of my pocket to do that job. So that's just my bare bones cost. Now, how much do I typically make a day? Well, we just said that typically you're making $300 a day, right? $75 per job, four jobs, that's $300. So three times two, that's 600 jobs, $600. So now my labor, me as a person, I'm making $600, right? You guys got that. My cost that I figured out was $500. So right now, I, remember, I'm pricing this, this small job. So now that's $1,100 right there. That's just to give me some money 
and that's to give my um, to give uh, my my cost of my chemicals and everything, right? And and again, guys, this is not some huge mall here in my area. We're talking about a little mall, but you know, uh, I'm just giving you guys examples. So right now, my cost. My cost I already figured out was five hundred. My labor was six hundred. So I'm already at eleven $1 hundred dollars. That I that's I minimum I gotta charge. So now I gotta figure out my growth. You guys you guys got that? So now I gotta figure out my growth. And this is real easy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those two numbers right there, eleven hundred. Let's let's just for for the sake of this video, let's say the number's twelve hundred, because it's gonna be a little bit easier math. All you're going to do is you're going to take your cost plus your labor. You're going to divide it by two, and that's your growth. So in this case here is, again, we rounded off 1100 to 1200 Divided by half is 600 That's your growth. So now we know our cost is 500 bucks. You guys are writing that down, right? Cost is 500 bucks. Our labor is 600 That's 1100 And we just figured out that our growth is also 600 so now I know I need to charge at least seventeen hundred. That would cover my growth, my personal labor, and then also the cost of doing the job. Now comes the profit. Remember, I told you guys you divide that number by point seven zero. Okay. So go ahead and do the math there, guys, and and see what number you get. I'll put it up here on the screen for you. So you know, remember your your five hundred in cost. You're doing 600 in labor, 600 in growth. So that's a total of what? 1,700 divided by 0.7, and you get your total right here. And this total that you're getting on the screen is what is going to, is what you're going to charge for that small job. You, you get what I'm saying here? And this is, this is, this is your baking into this, like you making money, your company making money, your growth, you're baking into it everything. And you, guess what, guys? You can use this formula. If it's a residential job, a commercial job, you really have to put the, the pen to paper and just write it all out. Like literally, on a piece of paper, what I do is I'll just put cost, labor, my growth, and my profit. And I'll just start populating things. And that's how I come up with most most of my pricing especially when i'm pricing out big jobs but the bottom line is it does not matter guys if you're doing residential or you're doing commercial you need to make sure that you have enough money left over for each one of these areas because if not how are you going to grow your company remember i told you guys in the beginning the example of a company down in florida that's charging 79 dollars a house so imagine for example let's do the math real quick on that Let's say you're doing four houses a day at 79 bucks. Wow, eight, eight times four, 320. So you're making 320 bucks for four houses. I mean, what about your cost? I just said your cost is around 60. So you're left with $19. Then you gotta pay yourself. Then you need growth. And then where's your profit? You see how there's a lot of people out there going out there that have no knowledge at all of business on how a business actually works okay because there's a lot of things that happen on the back end you know like i was talking about the variable cost with your hoses breaking and you needing uh to do maintenance on your equipment and buying constantly buying things that break break down like your fittings and whatnot so the bottom line is this guys i want to make sure that you guys go out there and you have all of the weapons all of the arsenals at your disposal and one of them is knowing exactly how a business functions from the finance perspective right so you guys understand that fully now i now you just need to go out there and you practice i promise you guys if you practice this first you need to do the homework and figure out your costs now every time you go do a job you know your number you know your number. You know your bottom line dollar cost. Then you factor in your labor. Then you factor in your, your growth because that's the money that you need to be able to grow your business. And then you factor in your 30% net margin. And that's what that 0.7, that 0.70 is because it gives you the overall number. And that's the number that you really need in order for you to be able to grow your business business and you know um ever since i opened up the mr bubbles channel it's been videos like this that i've been wanting to make for you guys a little bit more in depth 
and focused on something that not everybody will teach you. Like, how many videos like this do you guys see around on YouTube? Like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I haven't seen none. Like, there ain't no videos like this on YouTube because these are time-consuming to make. They are also uh, very intellectual property driven, meaning like people uh, know what they know and they don't want to share that with others, but that's not who I am. I think I have found my sort of calling. I really like teaching and uh, maybe in a, in a pre previous life I could have been a good teacher, a good professor or something like that. But I love this part of my life now where I get to teach you guys. You guys are like my students. Uh, and uh, man, that, that really motivates me because man, wow. And I'm going to start sharing some of the emails. Of course, you know, I'll ask for permission first. But man, some of you guys send me some of your emails on how much, like, um, the, the difference, you know, this channel has made in your business and whatnot. And man, wow, that really, really, really hits me where I live. And uh, that's why I get so motivated and I get so inspired to teach you guys these things because you're actually being a good student and you're taking this information out in the field. And it's making a big difference for you and your family. And that's what the Mr. Bubbles channel is all about. And I really appreciate you guys coming to my channel today and watching this. How to run a pressure washing business video from the finance management perspective. Guys, highly recommend you watch the next one as well. In the next video, I'm going to show you the house. You know the, the house where uh, I, I was downstreaming that one side? where I was actually there to film a different video, which I did. And what's cool about that video is I also went with the GoPro to do the five around, so you guys get to see that. Make sure you tune in for that video. Of course, uh, you guys are gonna be learning a little bit more about house washing and home protection and, and all of that good stuff. And uh, the, the videos I make for you guys out in the field are very dynamic. I like those as well. I like these shop videos best. Hey, you know what? Let me know in the comment section, which one do you like best? You like my shop videos best or you like my video uh, videos in the field best? Let me know in the comment section. I'm dying to know what you guys think about that. But uh, but also email me if you want that bi the business in the box. Guys, it's got over 500 documents in there. And then you don't have to keep emailing me all the time asking for stuff because you'll have everything that I have, including including the 300 before and after pictures, which is going to help you with your Google SEO and, you know, ranking on uh, on Google and all of that stuff in your local area. But, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bubbles out.